Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a five stage water filter and a couple of these items I've not seen anywhere on the internet where they're talking about this, but these two items are specifically great for filtering water. And there's even a couple of steps at the very end that many people, some people may talk about. And then there's one method I've heard no one discuss and it's one of the fastest and purest way, the best way to purify your water. And it takes out harmful bacterias and viruses. Now I'm using this bottle right here is our filtration holder where it holds all our different media that we're using to filter. But at the very top, we're going to drill small, small holes in the top of this cap so none of our, our larger filtration media may fall through, something like the size of a grain of sand. But what we want to do is we just want to drill as many holes as we can in the bottom of this that captures any of the larger holes. As you can see, this drill bit is very small and so it should drill the smallest holes for us. So in the cap of our bottle, we want to put something that's going to filter quite well. So we're going to take a paper towel and fold it several times and really pack it in there. I may need to cut it in maybe a circular fashion to get it to fit properly. We want this to be as tight as possible so there's no possible like grains of anything that are able to work its way around the edges of it. So we just want it really tight when we put it on the bottle there. So I'm going to cut this into a very circular pattern to put it right into our cap. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is cut a hole in the bottom of our plastic filtering system here and we're going to do, use this mason jar as our catch jar to catch our purified water. This will also double as two different ways to purify it from viruses or bacteria that may be in there that a filtration system, a solid different types of things, what, what all we're putting here will not filter out all viruses and all bacteria, but this jar will enable us to do that in two separate ways. I'll show you that at the end, how to do that. Now I've removed the bottom of our large gallon size container and you're not limited to this. You could go down to the size of a 16 ounce drink bottle or something like a two liter bottle like this. So depending on what you just have happen to have on hand, but I like this gallon size and this bottle is a little bit thicker plastic and it's got a handle there that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. But what we do next is we're going to set it right on top of our catch jar and you can remove this if you have this particular, I think this was a something like 8.8 .8, uh, water jug. I forget the name of these 88. I can't remember the name, but anyways, you can find these at some, some specialty water stores and places like that, but it's a little bit harder to find now. They don't sell them at my local grocery store. So I have to kind of look around for them, but we're just going to put that just like that on top of our catch jar and start adding our five stages of product filtration media to the upper jar or the upper bottle. Now the first thing we're adding to our filtration system is charcoal and these are large pieces of charcoal wood that I've made myself. I've got a video upcoming where I'm going to show you how to make charcoal at home but if you don't have it just make sure you can find some charcoal whether you've had a recent wood fire and you put the fire out a little bit early that's when you can often find charcoal but you want this charcoal to be crushed as small as possible and that's why I'm going to take a rubber mallet to it and crush it down into a fine powder as fine as we can get and then filter it and put it into our first item we're putting into our five-stage filtration system. Now I've crushed this down, but the finer you get it, the better this is going to work. But there's a lot of powder in here and some of it may actually end up into our filtered water, which is perfectly okay. Charcoal is a natural supplement, activated charcoal. A lot of people take that for food poisoning and for an upset stomach and we have some in our kitchen pantry right now just for those purposes but i'm adding an extra paper towel to the inside just to make sure that we're filtering out as much of that charcoal dust because it is a very fine dust now it took me two separate bags i went through the first bag and it became a little damaged so i went back and did a second bag but any type of roller device roller pen anything you can crush that charcoal down into the smallest particles you can get into a fine powder that's going to work a lot better in the final stage of our five stage filter. All right, so I'm gonna carefully pour this into our bottle. And 
And so that is the last layer of our five stage filter since the water's starting at the top and working its way down to our catch jar. That is the final stage. So we'll go on to the next one. A little bit of dust now, it's a little bit harder to see inside, but that's perfectly normal. Just wanna make sure we settle it and make it level at the very bottom of our jar. Okay, so the next thing we're adding to our filtration system here is the, the stage above the charcoal is gonna be some dry wash sand. You can usually find this in the wilderness on beach areas. But we're just gonna put this in at roughly, we're gonna spread it out. I would say roughly this is about maybe three quarters to one inch of sand on top of our charcoal. And that's gonna help filter out anything above it. So that's the stage above that. We have charcoal on the bottom, charcoal on the bottom and then sand. All right, so now we're gonna add our next layer and that is a layer of perlite, which is a form of volcanic glass that's been crushed. And of course, that's what the sand is for to keep it from filtering down into our water. We don't want this in the water, but it acts as a great way to filter the water. So we're just gonna carefully pour that in there. Sometimes it can be a little dusty, but in this case, I believe it's been washed. So we just put that above there. If you're in it, into gardening in any form, you'll know exactly what perlite is. You can find it at almost any garden center. So that's the layer of perlite. On the bottom, we have the final stage, the charcoal, the stage before that, sand, the stage above that, perlite, and now we'll go on to our next stage. Now, the next thing we're adding, some people may have never heard of it before, and that was one of the more rare items you may have not heard of, but diatomaceous earth, and it's perfectly safe. People use this, the food grade version. You wanna make sure it's food grade. But this food grade diatomaceous earth, sometimes people use it in their pets to get rid of worms. It's also good for humans if they have any kind of intestinal worms. So this is what it's used for in the medical world or that type of pharmaceutical world. But we're gonna add it to the next layer above the perlite. And we wanna shake it and just kind of level it out. And then we'll go on to the next stage of our five stage filter. Now the last thing we're adding to the five stage filter is this gravel. It's a very fine washed aquarium gravel and that's gonna help filter out the largest of particles. And I'm just gonna pour that in there on top, probably anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches across the top of the diatomaceous earth. Okay, we're gonna smooth that out, make sure it's nice and level. And that will be the fifth stage of our five stage filter. But there's one thing we wanna add to the top of it to help keep from disturbing it and allow if we pour too much water in quickly, it can burrow its way down and kind of disturb the gravel and kind of mess up our entire filtration system. So I'm gonna add one thing to the top here. Now I'm using a cotton towel, 100% cotton that was washed in Castile soap in my washing machine. No chemical bleaches or anything like that or any chem chemical soap. So we just wanna make sure that's the clean as we can possibly get it. We're gonna fold it into just the right size so we can try to get it into the top where when we pour our water in, we don't disturb any of the gravel. So it's able to be kind of a top filter for the largest of particles and can work its way down through all the other five of the other five layers of our five layer filtration system. So let's go get some dirty water and we'll test it out. So I demonstrated removing some of the water from a first pond and I found a second pond on my property that's even dirtier and you can see the water is absolutely unclear. It has a lot of debris in it. So if you'll stick around to the end, I'll show you how to kill viruses and bacteria that may be in this water and most likely is in this water, but I'll show you an easy way, two different ways to kill those last two things that have to be done before you drink it. It would be very toxic to do that in that case. Now, as you can see, this is a very slow filtration process because the water is having to work its way through all those layers. I put this entire picture of dirty water into this five stage filter. And as you can see, it's coming out crystal clear at the bottom, but there's still the chance of viruses and bacteria. And there's two ways to get rid of those. And that is the most critical step that has to be done. One is 
absolutely 100% will work. One, in an emergency situation, may be the only way you can do it if you can't create a fire or if you're out on the trail or you're hiking or camping like me and you're lost and all you have is a few items that you could create one of these filters with. Now, a couple items you're not gonna be able to create on the trail, but a lot of these items can be found in nature. Now this took a solid 30 minutes to filter that water through and there's still some actually filtering through even now but you can see the water looks clean and clear and I'll show you the last step of making sure this water has no viruses and no bacteria living in it. Now as I mentioned there's two two ways to kill virus and bacteria. What are those two ways? Well if you have a container like this, this glass, that sunlight can get into you can lay this in sunlight on a bright sunny day, preferably in the summertime when the sun is most intense. And in four to six hours, anything in there should be dead, viruses or bacteria that's living in there. But again, this is gonna work best in summertime. And this is a last resort way of getting water if you're in an emergency situation. But the even better way is to use a small campfire. A bottle like this will take extreme heat. Obviously, you don't want the lid on there, or if you do have the lid on there, you want the lid to be slightly open so the steams can escape. But you wanna boil it for about 10 minutes where the water's actually coming to a boil to make sure there's nothing living in here. Again, safety is paramount and you don't wanna make yourself sick. But in an emergency situation, this entire method will purify water. And the most important thing about the purification is the step at the very end. So guys, I love being out in nature. I love camping and hiking, and I love exploring the wilderness. And sometimes if you find yourself lost, you have to, if you have the right equipment with you, it can save your life. And that's one of those things. If you don't have the right equipment, you may not make it very long at all. So always pack things like this. You don't have to use glass. You could use plastic, but I think it's gonna work best if you have in a stainless steel cup where you maybe make your coffee and that would be the final stage for boiling. But things like this you could put together in no time at all. And of course the process of purifying the water takes time anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get it to run through, but that will remove most of the purities and then you go to that final stage. So guys, I just wanna thank, say thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. A thumbs up means a lot to me if you like the video. And if you wanna see another video, I have a whole catalog of over 200 videos and some of them are on this same topic and many other topics too. Anything from bonsai to wilderness to survival. So anyways, take a look at those and I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.